Be inspired, supported, and empowered. This is the Global Healthy Living Foundation Podcast Network. Hello, and welcome to Talking Head Pain, a podcast that confronts head pain head on. I'm here live at the American Headache Society's scientific meeting. I'm here with two very special guests. Could you please let our audience know who you are? Neda Hindiye. I'm the Director of Headache Neurology at Metrodora Institute and the Chief Medical Officer at Haven Headache and Migraine Center. Dr. Lauren Nathany. I am the founder and CEO of Integrative Headache Medicine of New York, which is a headache clinic in New York City. So we're going to learn about autonomic disorders and some exciting information and programs that are coming out of it. Who would like to start? I'll start. So autonomic disorders encompasses a broad spectrum, but basically when we're talking about in the context of migraine, it's POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which is also can be related to Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, which is hypermobility and connective tissue disorder, as well as mast cell activation syndrome. And we're really looking at the comorbidity of these disease states together and how we can help this population. And can you share uh, the poster that is being presented on this? We actually gave a talk yesterday. Oh, a talk. Yeah, so we gave a 30-minute talk that really kind of summarized these connections between these various disease states. So between POTS and hypermobility and mast cell disorders, because what we're seeing is there's such a huge interplay in any particular patient between all of these, and you really have to treat the patient as a whole. You can't just take these diseases in isolation. That's very, very important. I know something our community acutely is aware of. And we also have been seeing that with POTS, which it's very frequent that people just treat POTS as one thing, whereas POTS, it's a syndrome and there are different subtypes. So what we've been looking at is, is it important to differentiate based on the subtype of which there's neuropathic, hyperadrenergic, and hypovolemic? Yes, medical terms, but they all have different causes and the treatments are actually different. So we're seeing if you actually subtype the patient and treat them according to subtype, the outcomes in our experience have been a lot better. Very, very interesting. And what is the American Headache Society doing to address these issues? Oh, so we can actually talk about what me and Lauren have started. And we started a special interest section specifically for autonomic disorders. So it took us about a year to get this started. And we're going to have our first meeting tomorrow at noon for anybody that American Headache Society who's interested in joining. And our goal there is to first raise awareness. We also want to do projects and really spread the word. Amazing. And what do you hope will come out of this uh, special interest group? Firstly, I want the patients who are dealing with these disease states to feel heard and to feel like they have a voice within the American Headache Society. So I just want awareness and recognition would be be the first step, but then actually writing policies and guidelines and having real standardized criteria. So that way, when these patients are going to doctors who aren't us and aren't as familiar, actually are able to diagnose and help them because it must be so lonely and feeling of being lost when doctors, you go and they're like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. That's so important and really appreciate all the work that you both are doing to advance care, to ensure that some of these tertiary or secondary or primary disorders are being taken seriously with headache and migraine patients. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of Talking Head Pain, the podcast that confronts head pain head on. If you have any questions, thoughts, or suggestions for us, you can send us an email at podcast at ghlf.org. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it an honest five-star rating, write a positive review, and spread the word by sharing it with your friends and family. It'll help more people like you find us. I'm Joe Coe, and I will see you next time. Be inspired, supported, and empowered. This is the Global Healthy Living Foundation Podcast Network.